So if you're looking for an oud fragrance that would work in the spring and summer months, you might want to check out Tom Ford's Oud Mineral. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this fragrance, stay tuned. Hey, what's going on guys? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, glad to have you here. And if you are new, what I do is I make fragrance related content. So if you love fragrances, please just hit that subscribe button down below. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future fragrance videos. And also be sure to follow my new fragrance Instagram page that will be in the description below as well. But as you guys can tell by the intro, that is correct. We're gonna be reviewing Tom Ford's Oud Mineral. And this so happens to be from the resort collection that just relaunched that just relaunched in 2021. So before we talk about Oud Mineral, let's go over some information about this fragrance. Now, the year this fragrance was released was 2017 in the private blend. Now, it did get discontinued, I believe in 2020 or 2019 uh, for some reason, but it did just get relaunched in 2021 under the resort collection which is a phenomenal thing. I was so excited to see this get launched under the, I guess you could say signature collection, which is actually, they're cheaper versions of the private blends or just cheaper fragrances altogether. But this kind of got the uh, Costa Azura, the Ombre Leather, Boda Jour treatment, where they take a fragrance from the private blend that they discontinued and then relaunch them under the signature collection. Now, I was absolutely blown away because this is actually still an Eau de Parfum concentration, just like the original, which most of the time they'll relaunch it under like a BNA Eau de Toilette, kind of like a Eau de Jasmine Rouge, a version of Jasmine Rouge, or like a Costa Zero Aqua, which is Eau de Toilette, but this is still an EDP. So just because it doesn't say EDP like the original on the front sticker, it does actually say it on the bottom and on the box. So. Yes, this is an ADP. Now, the perfumer behind this is actually the first time I've ever heard of this perfumer. Their name is Shyamala Mason Dio. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah, that is the nose behind it. Now, as far as retail price for this fragrance goes now, you can actually pick this up for a 30 mil for $92 and a 50 mil for $134, as you can see from mine here is a 50 mil. They did not launch this in the 100 mil, unfortunately, but I do collect the 50 mils, as you see from the Tuscan leather behind me. But yeah, that is just some information. Let's go over the uh, packaging and presentation of Oud Mineral now. So looking at the box, um, this is where mm, they did kind of cheap out was on the box at least. It just comes in this white box. As you can see, it kind of looks like a tester box, but obviously it's not. You do of course have the Tom Ford Oud Mineral sticker right there. Uh, this is like i said a 50 ml bottle and then on the bottom you do have your batch code and barcode to authenticate your product to see when your product was actually produced and then just the tf logo up top um, it's not like obviously the regular private blanche where it kind of lifts up it is just uh, a regular kind of box you open up like so but obviously it's not a big deal the box isn't the most important thing <clears throat> now the bottle on the other hand I think does look really, really good. Um, of course, you do get the private blend bottle, which is a very, very good thing with the Tom Ford plaque and silver up top, which looks amazing. And then, like I said, just the same stuff on the bottom, your batch code and, and ingredients. But yeah, so this is the, like the original uh, private blend bottle, but it does come in a frosted look, but has the same color. I do think the original bottle looks slightly better with the see-through. This looks a little bit more premium, but obviously it's not the most important thing. Oh my gosh, so good. But yeah, so for packaging and presentation, just because they got rid of that box and did a frosted color for it, I'm gonna give that a rating of eight out of 10. So let's go over to the smell of Oud Mineral now. So for the notes of Oud Mineral, you're gonna get sea notes, sea salt, sea weed, agarwood, which is Oud, Styrax, ambergris, pink pepper, balsam fir, and pepper wood. Now, this one doesn't come in like a top, middle, or uh, base notes, it just has its notes listed. So, let's go ahead and spray Oud Mineral and I'll tell you what I think of this fragrance. Now, the atomizers for the private blends are pretty good. Uh, they're not the best, but it gets the job done, so that's what matters. <laughs> oh, okay. So before I tell you about the uh, what I pick up on here, let that sit for a moment. 
Now, when I first smelled Oud Mineral, Oud Mineral a couple of years back, before I was into fragrances and before I had like a trained nose and I was just kind of like uh, new to everything, I did not like this fragrance because I thought it was very, very complex and I was just not a fan. Um, as you can see here, I do actually have the original sample, even though it's pretty much out of Tom Ford's Oud Mineral that I got at Nordstrom when I first tried it. Now, I can tell you that these smell pretty much identical just by smelling it from this uh, little sample vial here, which is a good thing. So don't be worried that this one doesn't smell anything like the original. It does, guys. But back to this fragrance. Like I said, it is very complex and it's not going to be for everyone. But what I get from this is I get a lot of like marine notes from the... Uh, I guess it, they consider it sea notes, but it's very um, aquatic, very marine -y to me, and a lot of seaweed. Now, seaweed is a note that I guess is kind of like a love or a hate. You either love this note of seaweed or you kind of hate it. Now, I definitely grown to love it at first. Like I said, was not a fan of it whatsoever. But now, since I re-smelled the uh, this resort collection. I'm a big fan of Oud Mineral now, guys. I absolutely love the smell of this stuff. It will work perfect for, like I said, the spring and summer, which we're going into now. So if you want like a, um, a Oudy, Woody fragrance for sp spring and summer, check this one out. But back to the notes. So I do get the uh, marine notes, the seaweed. It's a little bit salty as well because it has like a saltiness to this fragrance, kind of like from the ocean, like salt water. That's what I kind of pick up on but you also get that animalic amber green. <clears throat> now, amber green also comes across very salty. If you don't know what amber green is, it actually comes from a well. So it's a very animalic, a very salty, such a good fragrance. Now, how would I would describe this one to me? It's kind of like a, like a piece of wood that's been sitting in the ocean for months or years and just kind of started to grow mold on it. Yeah. Very, very, hmm. It's actually a dark fragrance for being an aquatic fragrance. It's a very weird combination of the two, being aquatic and being like earthy and dark at the same time. So good, so good guys. Now I do hope, I'm hoping that they um, release uh, Tobacco Oud in their signature collection because they also discontinued that one. Now that would be a great thing as well. But back to Oud Mineral, yeah, so. That's what I get. It was also kind of like a smokiness to this fragrance. I'm not sure where that's actually coming from. Hmm. Because it does have some resins in there, like the styrax and stuff like that. Pink pepper, but yeah, just a slight smokiness to it. Um, but yeah, so good. So good. And since it's starting to warm up here where I'm at now, I'm going to be wearing this one a lot, guys. Great unique fragrance that most people will not be wearing or smelling like, so you're gonna stand out for sure. You're not gonna smell like, obviously, like Aqua Di Joe or Dior Sauvage and stuff like that. Most people wear it in the warmer months, but yeah, great fragrance. Definitely glad to have this one since they launched this in their uh, same shirt collection. Now, where you can pick this one up, you can pick it up on, I believe, TomFord.com, and it's actually also an Ulta exclusive. And not all stores that also carry this one. It's actually a very select few. So you're gonna to wanna to order it online if you're looking to buy this one. But yeah, for the smell of Oud Mineral, I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10. So let's go over to the performance of this one now. So for the performance of Tom Ford's Oud Mineral, now I was not expecting it to perform this good uh, for being sort of like an aquatic fragrance is what it's mostly known for. But this one surprised me, guys, because when I wore this one to work, which is actually a 10-hour shift, I smelled this one the entire 10 hours, guys. And I didn't even really go nose blind to it either, which is kind of shocking because I do go nose blind to most of my fragrances. Uh, but this one was just there pretty much the entire time. I didn't get any compliments from this one, but obviously this is not going to be a huge compliment getter like your uh, more designer aquatic fragrances. But... Very unique. It's not a terrible, like fragrance. I don't think most people will absolutely hate it. Um, it's not like that. I think some people will enjoy it when it's in the air. But yeah, not a compliment beast at all. But the CEOs from this stuff, guys, 
is very, very solid, very solid. It definitely projects a couple feet from you, um, a little outside of your own little bubble, so people will be able to notice you around, which is good. Now, I do have a story, though. <clears throat> I was sitting uh, uh, next to people at, um, on a patio, like by a fire and stuff like that, and the person I was sitting next was like, well, you kind of smell like uh, gardenias, kind of flowery, but I guess I can sort of get that vibe from it. It kind of shocked me, but yeah, I guess you could sort of put those two to two together, like a flower, gardenias. Yeah, and also this isn't a, like a very, very masculine fragrance, I wouldn't say. It leans kind of unisex. Um, I mean, Tom Ford private blend fragrances are unisex to begin with. They're not for men or a woman. They're just unisex. They're usually made to blend as well. <clears throat> so I think both a man and a woman could rock this one. Um, but it is very oody and stuff like that, which usually tends to be more masculine. But with the aquatic notes and stuff like that, the seaweed, the saltiness, definitely can be unisex. But the performance of this one, yeah, very good. People around you will smell you. Uh, which is always nice. It's not just a skin scent. It does last a long time as well. It would definitely last the entire work shift and when you go to bed at night. And yeah, you're gonna have to probably scrub this one off pretty good as well in the shower to get rid of it completely. So for that matter, I'm gonna give this one a rating of 8.5 out of 10 for the over our, no, for the performance of this one. Now, for the overall assessment since I mean, it is a oud that you can wear in the spring and summer, which is pretty unique. Not many oud fragrances are made for the spring and summer. They're usually like a fall and winter kind of fragrance, like more dark. So since it's sort of versatile in that aspect, um, I'm actually gonna give this one, I mean, it's not my favorite oud from Tom Ford. My favorite would probably be oud wood, which I still don't have. I'm gonna have to pick that one up, but this is definitely a solid release from uh, Tom Ford. So. The overall assessment is gonna also get an 8.5 out of 10. Solid, solid release. I'm very happy to have this one in my collection. So if you liked the video, definitely give it a like. Subscribe down below if you haven't already for more future fragrance videos, and I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And I'll catch all you guys in the next upload. Take care, everybody.